In January, the old Fox signs were forever removed from the Fox Theater. At the end of February, the new Stiefel signs were installed. Just over a week later on March 8th, the doors at the newly renovated Stiefel Theater for the Performing Arts were opened wide for its first paying audience. Many familiar Salinans were present for the gala event wearing their best suits, long dresses, and furs. I spoke with several of the revelers that night, including Eddie Wise, who held an unusual job at the Fox Watson back in the 40s. I'll tell you what, I was just a kid, just a kid, and my neighbor told me about a job that I could get at the Watson Theater. I was 16 years old, scraping gum off the seats of the Fox Watson Theater. It was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, but if you look at the place, it was definitely worth it. And, uh, boy, we, yeah, I'm real happy to see it open and see all the people here. <laughs> right, and, and not all the uh, seats and uh, dedications. There's some plaques that'll be in the lobby. A right. few, few minor things. You know, I know they had a lot of, Jonathan Cloud had a lot of things in the works. I think Martha and Lana put everything on hold to concentrate on opening night, which I think was appropriate. I don't think I've ever dreamed in my dreams to realize that this could happen and it would look as beautiful as it is right now. Uh -huh. It is fantastic. I, 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 I'm just so pleased that we've gone so long and worked so hard on this thing and I'm really happy to see that it's finally done and it looks so beautiful. I tell you, the place looks, it really looks great. It really looks great. I, I remember being a kid and coming here for several different movies and, and uh, whatnot. And what impresses me is the the whole architecture looks fantastic. The the woodwork, they haven't changed. The light fixture up at the top, I don't remember it blinking, but uh, it, it looks fantastic. It looks, looks just the same as it did when I was a kid. With only a few seats left empty in the auditorium, organizers feel the opening night was a huge success. And though Jim Belushi refused to comment on camera for an access program, no. Sources say he was amazed that such a theater ever existed in a town such as Salina, Kansas. The week after the performance, Norm Yankee gave me a personal tour of the new theater. The color motif in the foyer is brown and an old industrial green, complete with original patterned carpeting. The auditorium is mostly dark brown earth tones, including the newly upholstered seats. Everywhere there is gold painted and gold leaf accents. A row of seats were taken out to accommodate the restored orchestra pit, which will hold over a dozen musicians. There's even the green urinals and a small amount of original tile work left in the men's room. Preservation purists and others may criticize the new Stiefel for having plastic bottoms on all the seats, a non-functioning original in-house phone system, the pseudo-psychedelic chandelier, and the completely painted over original marble water fountains with jury-rigged plumbing. The new signs have been criticized for having curves which do not match the Art Deco lines of the building, the omission of the Fox name, and for being too bright and carnival-like. During and after the opening night performance, I asked other Salinans why they didn't go to the theater. Uh, it's just another overpriced thing for the Salina artsy-fartsy elite. And you, ma'am? Not unless Elvis came back to perform. If Elvis came back to perform, you'd, you'd okay. Absolutely. It's too high priced, and I will not go there unless they name it the Fox again. No, I don't. The reason why is because it is too high priced, and on top of it, when they were taking money for the Fox Theater, they were taking it for the Fox, not the Stiefel Theater. Therefore, that's my reason. So you don't agree with the new name? No, I don't. Now, it would be different if they would have said it was the Steeple Theater at first, but they didn't. So, therefore, that's my reason. So, controversies remain as the new theater kicks off. Whether or not it will remain successful in the future, only time will tell. Reporting from the almost newly renovated Steeple Theater for the Performing Arts, I'm Ross Long.